over and over time. Oh, gee, baby. Abby <laughs> Huntsman has never seen Abby this got show. Oh, really? Guys, and it was even better than I expected. <laughs> it's Aww. a great show, and it's it a great is. group of people. Great to have it you. It really is. Oh, the booth, so, can you hear in our ear? Can you know why, too? Because you said something nice about the Patriots. And everybody uh, in our I, control room. I'm not going to turn on my Twitter because I'm sure I'm getting hounded there. But y you know what? I'm not embarrassed. I think Tom Brady is one of the most handsome. My husband knows this, too. I think he's one of the most <laughs> handsome, most talented people. Yeah, but Abby's Huntsman, uh, Abby's oh, Huntsman. Oh, our executive producer. Her husband's not too shabby. So can, can we just talk <laughs> Wait, about can something Can I say that... one thing really quick where my mom's going to kill me? It's oh. my Nana's 105th birthday today. Oh, happy birthday. I'm getting on a plane to D.C. What's to go name? celebrate Roberta McCain. I'm getting Nana on a plane Roberta. to go celebrate with her tonight. We're having a big happy party. Birthday. So I have to say a happy birthday to my That's Nana. Very... 105. Oh. And I've actually seen her Roberta. Roberta. Yes. She is a beautiful woman. Thank you. I cannot believe she's 105. 105. Wait, is she on wow. your Twitter right now? She is not on Twitter, but she does watch Outnumbered. No, I mean, did you tweet her picture? Okay, so I want to see that. So I just had to give her a shout out. Amazing is that? So I'm going to put that on the live chat too. And any birthday shout outs for Nana Roberta, I will read Thank if you, you put them on the live chat <laughs> right now. So sign in. I know some of you are watching us on Facebook Live too. You, you can double screen us. You can go to outnumbered, uh, or rather, yeah, it is foxnews.com outnumbered slash uh, overtime. That's not right. <laughs> It's foxnews.com slash outnumbered slash outnumbered FMC. Yeah. I you have can get not it on been Facebook drinking, too. people. <laughs> I really okay. haven't. So you know what I'm sad about today? And I'm not even a Patriots fan. Who stole Tom Brady's game jersey? I know. Jersey? They still oh, they found can't out. find it. Yeah, he That's took it. That's sick. Yeah. We're going to find it on eBay somewhere being sold for like $2,000. <laughs> his mo Oh, I hope it goes for more it than that. His mom is very yeah. ill, and he had planned to give her... Well, hopefully he'll return it, or she really will return sad. it. You know what? That might have been one of the highlights for me, seeing him after the game, going and hugging his mom, yeah. uh, who's sick. Um, and you could see it in his face when they were losing. He was so angry, obviously, because they were losing. But I think this game, more than anything, meant so much to him because his family was, I think it was the first Super Bowl that his parents had actually physically his mom, been yeah, to, his mom at least. So Is this that was, true? Yeah, I didn't so this know was that. Huge yeah. for it was the first win. game this season that she had yeah, gone she to. Yeah. Um, I don't, yeah. I don't know, but I, th it was I, that was he was very emotional at the end of that game. Oh, what a game! Really neat. Probably uh, one of the best games ever. Pauline M.D. Perhaps a doctor. Welcome, Abby. Uh, Long Islanders, happy birthday, Grandma McKay. Lots of birthday Thank wishes you. for. Thank you. Oh my you, goodness. Grandma. Nelson Pay two four four. Happy birthday to Megan's grandmother. Thank you. And uh, so on and so forth. By the forth. way, what is she doing to celebrate at one oh five? We are having a big party at the Navy Memorial because she oh. was the admiral's wife, and um, oh, yeah, wow. she's. It starts at six, so I'm. Are your excited. brothers? Uh, I know that they serve. Are they stateside right now for this? My, or no? Yes, both of my brothers are right now. Oh, yes, that's so they a will blessing. Be there, so yeah, I'm excited. She's. She watches outnumbered, and oh. like, I'm sure, she, she loves you, that. Antonio. Oh. Like all the women in my family. So. <laughs> <laughs> my mom. Yeah, I'll anytime. Yeah, I'll she would love you. that. So it's nice to meet so many women with taste and. 105 too. Like, no. imagine the story that she can tell us. Huh? Oh, yeah. So, Antonio, we didn't talk a whole lot of Hollywood today, but how, mm. how is your uh, presence in Hollywood these days post Trump's election? They're just bitter. They're really oh, sad. No. They're just going to hold this uh, for, forever. Has anyone seems, picked you know. a fight with you yet? Uh, yeah, the liberal media, you know, Hollywood specifically. I know who they are. They're, they kind of. Uh, Kind of hang up the phone and they don't want to hire me anymore. Stuff like really? that. Really, you've seen it uh, job. Really? Mm -hmm. That's so sad. You're not getting hired yeah. because you were a Trump speak. I know. I know some of them. I know who they are. You know, what about, all, what about everyone else who worked for the Democrats? They all seem to do fine. They seem to be doing just fine. <laughs> but they I, get I, those calls. I, I live. I, you know. Oh, I had no like, idea. My integrity is intact. It's why people in Hollywood, though, are so reticent to share their political beliefs if they're not so incredibly leftist, because you will suffer by not getting jobs. A good friend of mine who's an actress, she accidentally exposed herself for being a conservative on a red carpet. Somebody said, what book are you reading? And she said, Sean Hannity's book. And all of a sudden, all hell broke loose. And she yeah. lost a very prominent job on a very prominent TV show because uh, of it. Communism. It's, it's it is. Crazy. It's horrible. It's, it's communism. communism. Yes. And if you don't know what communism means, that's what it means. Losing yeah. jobs because of your political beliefs. Because can you believe if it was the other way around? <laughs> yeah, it used to be. I mean, back in the 40s, I mean, that's how but you were blacklisted, and it's happening right now. It's crazy, you know, and it should be the greatest country in the world where you should have your views, and that's it, you know. But they, uh, like I said, they're very bitter, and um, they're crying. Uh, so a lot of people talking about the, the um, sports story, saying that Kraft should make everyone on the team go. Especially oh. if they're going to play yeah, again they next should be year. Able, yeah, they should all go. Yes. Or why don't, well, I mean, I don't can think they hold he really back has your that. ring until the team comes back from the White House? It's <laughs> I mean, not patriotic. 
It isn't patriotic, but, but it's, it's a you thing know, it's called Patriots, too. You should definitely yeah, go. So, <laughs> I mean, the rest of the world predominantly plays or soccer. Or say, you know what, I'm not going to go to the White House, but I'm going to go visit our troops instead and thank yeah. them for this, the freedom that I have to do That's this like the country. fantasy exactly. that I had Something. in my head that Colin exactly. Cowper, just make a statement by saying I won't go. Was yeah. praying for our troops. In fact, I tweeted that. I'm like, oh, look, he's like praying that. for the military again. I like again. that theory. Can you people I wish just that were country true. first? You know, um, regardless of who's yeah. president, I mean, this is a, a once, for many people, once in a lifetime opportunity to go to the White House. I mean, that the Super Bowl. And you know how many people would give a, a heck of a lot yeah. to get that opportunity to be there, just yeah. to see it. Yeah, I know. And it makes me want to know if they have. You keep talking about your children, Antonio. If either of these guys have children, because like, what kind yeah, of example are you yeah. setting? What message right. are you sending That's about the, the highest example. office in the land? By yeah, we're also talking about the NFL, where you know they couldn't figure out how many games to take from a guy who had dragged his wife by his hair over that the threshold video. of an elevator. Oh, I mean, well. if they want to send some Still messages playing. about how much they really care about family, why don't we start that there? That video was Absolutely. so intense. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but I just saw that. I don't really see a coach. Or, or an owner or anybody, you know, raising the bar and saying, I care about family guys, let's get to the White House so you can set a good example. Yeah, right and then now. at the same time, you suspend somebody for a supposedly ball that wasn't uh, filled up, you know, with, uh, with Tom Brady and yeah. all that stuff. But then you, have, yeah, then you have these, these incidents. Well, because there's no question that he deflated those footballs, for God's sake. <laughs> but can I just point out, Lady Gaga, you want anyway. and you guys might have talked about this yesterday, but there was a lot of uh, people wondering if she was going to bring up politics at all in her performance. And, Who is and this, Lady Gaga? Lady Gaga, and yeah. I thought, you know what, she was the highlight of the whole game. She was amazing. Yeah. Phenomenal, but oh I think gosh. she did have it. She could have, if she wanted to say something in that moment, she could have. had the biggest audience. You know where she went? She went on the high road that Mrs. Obama <laughs> was talking about. The high road, and we go high. And yeah, and she right. flew through the air because there's nobody on it. Oh my gosh! Yeah. What? Well, she was also she <laughs> oh also God. started it with God Bless America, sorry. and she was That's very okay, patriotic I opening. I and I got you. But I, I never, missed that I, entire joke. I'm hey, sorry, it went right over my head. People for the <laughs> first time joining us. <laughs> oh really? Look at Crystal Eve. Yeah. She says for the first time on overtime. Hi y'all. Hi y'all. But you're doing so a great birthday shout out. Oh, everybody's oh, birthday. Good. Oh, we so a photo. Sweet. Sweet. Happy birthday, everybody. It's on my Twitter. So sweet. Anyway. So my dad was here yesterday, and, yes. and he got a little emotional with, with Megan because he said, would you just, t what did he say to you? He said that I tell your father I'm an army man who loves your father and say hi. And I was like, I'm not going to say I'm an army man. I'm going to say Harris's father visited us, and I will pass that <laughs> along. Yes. And I did. So, yeah, he's a lovely Thank man. You. He's very proud of you, Harris. Oh, Is that the wonderful. first time I'm proud of him, too? Yeah. yeah, he's never seen the show what in he person. Say? Um, well, he loves the ladies of Outnumbered, yes. so he was particularly happy just to be here for that. But the highlight was when he sat in your seat, yeah. Yeah. and he was like, can I get that picture? I'm like, well, Dad, you don't text. He goes, well, can't, doesn't anybody print anything anymore? Oh, that's true. We get, so we I'm printing get out a picture and framing it for him He's of being one the hashtag guy. one lucky guy. Awesome. So he had a really good time. Awesome. Where does he live? Dallas. Yeah. Big deal. I have 11 cousins oh, down nice. there. We're yeah. Great city. Yeah, and I go from there to Arizona, as you know, mm -hmm. so I'm kind of a Southwest girl. We'll never yeah. forget that experience. Yeah. Red Nor will I. I was a little nervous because he sat right over here, and he yeah. calls Sandra. I don't know if he did to your face, but at home he calls you Sandy. That's okay. Oh. He's I a respond big to that. Fan. And he goes, did you see where I sat? I sat next to Sandy. And I'm oh. like, well, Dad, you weren't on the set next He's to Sandy. He's a very <laughs> sweet, kind <laughs> man, but you so can sweet. tell very, a very decisive yeah. man. At the same you know, he is. He is he just a total I love him around dad. my girls because they don't have anything at all to say. Mm -hmm. Like, if he says yes or no, that is it. Oh, that's it. Like, and with me, you know, I'm, I'm bargaining. still working on that with my kids. <laughs> right? I'm like, I have to take <laughs> out, like, the, okay, no karaoke birthday party for you today. I've got to take out my, <laughs> you know. I do it gets, know. It gets tough. We have a lot of people watching us right now on Facebook Live, so thanks for, uh, thanks to all of them. And happy birthday, Nana Roberta. Thank you. Happy birthday. Very much. Um, Antonio, what's next for you? Well, I don't what know. What's got cooking? We'll see how the politics world treats me. Uh, you have an anti-aging... I saw this online. You have an anti-aging huge uh, conference coming up in May. Tell us right. about that. I want to know what's going on in your I, world. I'm, I'm getting involved with this because I believe that this is the way of the future. Just anti-aging um, procedures that are uh, really interesting. I'm going to find out are more about surgical? it. Are they surgical? Some are, some Bring aren't. any breaking news this yeah, way. Yeah, please. <laughs> that would be great. By the next time I come, I'll have a lot more stuff to yeah. tell By you. By the way, what do you think creams. of Tom Brady's diet? Who? Tom Brady's diet. What diet is he on? Is oh, he barely good? eats anything. He eats like a grain. Yeah, he he's on like good, a nightshades no. diet. Like no. He did tomatoes, look very no lean. Tomatoes, no. I was noticing that. Oh, he's that no carbs. Field. No carbs diet. Uh, no. Probably like fats healthy, and protein. Ca healthy carbs. Eighty yeah. percent vegetables, twenty percent carbs. Of course. Th that's not true. That is not true. Oh, twenty percent protein. Protein. Okay.
I and then, I mean, oh my God, stop. We don't need He's on like a keto diet. diet. These are carbs, some of them, because they have. He's on a keto diet, right. probably. He doesn't eat any fruit? Probably no, not. Yeah, I read that. He has, no, he has no fruit. No thin That's skin no fruit. Oh, no starch. I, no plums. Oh no nuts. You know what? If you have a chef, no, I have That's absolutely different. no idea. You if you can pay for a chef to come in and make <sighs> you all of those great that actually taste good uh -huh. in that diet, then it's probably doable. But in yeah. any anyone else's life, I just want all. to do whatever Antonio is doing. Yeah. <laughs> Stay away from the carbs. That's it. All right. Good to have you, Abby. Great to have you. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Thanks, Abby. Good to have you.